Okay, in this tutorial I'll be going through with you uh, KDB stock. It's Keurig Dr. Pepper Inc. Um, you can just type in Google and this information will appear. The full name is this. I can't even pronounce it, sorry. Um, and um, the NASDAQ symbol is KDB. It's 27.44 US dollar for one stock. It's a billion size firm, so it's a big size firm. It's paying a dividend yield. Uh, please don't worry if the dividend yield is very less because um, even if it's less than 0.5%, that's brilliant because that means that the company is financially very strong. It's a positive sign because um, after paying their loans, liabilities, creditors, costs, they still have extra money. That extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends. So they're very financially strong. Let's have a look. When was this founded? I'll just go to Wikipedia, search this box, and I can see it's founded in 1981. Now, I want to see that um, what employees have to think about this. I'll copy this exactly, paste it in Google, type in these reviews, and let me have a look. Uh, sorry. Okay. And um, I can see what people who work there have to think about it. Uh, people have given 1,800 reviews, and it's 3.2 star. That's brilliant. And go to the reviews yourself. Check out the salaries. People are getting the photos, the jobs listed, the question and answers. Please check uh, in Glassdoor as well. That's a brilliant website as well. So let's have a look. And I can see that um, they have 165 reviews and it's 3.1 star. Please read through the pros and cons yourself. The jobs listed, the salaries they're paying, the interview questions, the benefits employees are getting. Now let's go to Justia Patents and see the patents of this firm. And um, I can see in the search bar, type in search bar, and nothing appears. But what I'll do is I'll just go back and click enter, and nothing appears. Let me do that. No, it won't appear like that. And let me do this. Yes or no, what? Okay, let's have a look if that's the same one that we are searching. Is that the same? That's a commercial company, a beverage brewing for home commercial use. And that's a beverage company. Mm, I would say I'm not sure. I think it's a yeah, it's a different one. It is manufactured by American. That's the same one, I think. I'll just check the images as well. Let's have a look. Uh, right. That's a brewing system for home. Is a beverage brewing system for home. By American company okay so that's similar to I think that's part of this uh, firm I guess and um, so it has patents in 2012 I guess um, it has patent 2012 yes so please concentrate on applicant and signing because that's important and uh, because they have full rights so it has patents you can see but please look for recent patents in 2015 16 17 18 because that means you're still innovating that's very important i think that's part of the firm as well kira green mountain it is part of uh, dr pepper yeah that is part of dr pepper so um in 2014 it has a patent so you can just have a look as well so um that's brilliant they have recent patent 2017 as well and stuff like that so the more patents a firm has the more stronger it is which is brilliant it has a mode and it's difficult to beat that firm that's brilliant 2017 that's a recent patent so they're still innovating that's a brilliant news so um let's go to yahoo finance and see their key executives and what salaries are they getting and i'll just paste it in here and uh, kdp that's the one we are looking at that's kdp in google and let's go to profile and um uh, I can see the sector industry employees and I can see five key executives only one of their salaries have been shown four of them say it's not applicable now that's uh, something to research about search about because why only one salary is shown uh, because we need all the salaries and it says not applicable now we need to we need to find out why it's not applicable because the more information we have about the salaries, the more transparency there is and the more trust we are able to build. So we need to find out why it's not applicable because only one salary is shown, that's not enough. And we need the reasons for the rest. We need to search that. Now let's go to macro trend and see the ratios. So um, I'll just um, click on price ratio, price book ratio, type in KDP. That's the one we are looking at. 
and if the price book ratio is less than one that means the stock is cheap it's undervalued and it's a sale if it's less than one if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it will get so it's just loading right now let's have a look Okay, so I can see that right now it's 1.73, which means the stock is 1.73 times more expensive to buy right now. In 2018, September, it's 1.43, which means stock is 1.43 times more expensive. So somebody who bought in September 2018, they paid $22 to buy something that was $16 worth, right? So I can see in 2017, December, it's 10 times more expensive. Somebody who bought in 2017, December, they paid $95 to buy something that was nine dollars worth and i can see in 2008 it, it's 1.43 somebody who bought that time they paid 18 dollars to buy something that was 12 dollars worth right now it's 1.7 times more expensive so um let's go to other ratios i want to go and check current ratio if current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky because liabilities are more than assets if current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means stock is very safe because it has a good margin of safety now let's have a look it's just loading right now so we need to be patient Okay, right now uh, I'm looking for 1.5 or more than that. It is less than 1.5. And let's look at the previous consistency. So just for once in 2016, December is more than 1.5, but that's not enough because, uh, you know, the consistency is not there for uh, for a long time, which I'm looking for. So I can see that it's, uh, I can see since, uh, since I would say that uh, 2008 June up till I would say, um, 2011 June it's always less than 1.5 but it has been more than one that means that assets are were more than liabilities but still they were not enough uh, for margin of safety but I can see that since 2011 September up till now it is even less than one that means that since that time when it was less than one since 2011 September up till now the liabilities has always been more than assets that's very very risky it's a dangerous stock you know so it's very dangerous in terms of current uh, current ratio and let's look at debt equity ratio i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that this ratio will tell me if the company is mainly operating on debt or equity so i'm only looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be safe
right now it is um, more than 0.5 so it's a risky stock I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that let's look at the previous trend so um, I can see that um, I can see that it has always been more than 0.5 consistently since we have data since uh, we have data since 2007 up to now it's always been above 0.5 it's a very risky stock in terms of debt which is not brilliant let's look at return on equity I'm looking for 8% or more than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look So uh, the return on equity is less than 8%, which is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for 8% more than that. Let's look at the previous trend. So had it, has it ever been below 8%? I can see a minus equity also, but I can see from 2009 December up till, up till uh, I can say 2018 June, it has always been 8% or more than that. That's brilliant. But just, and also 2018, uh, up till 18 September, that's brilliant but just recently 2018 December it's below 8% but it is still a positive equity so it has been consistently more than 8% since a long time just now recently it is below 8% so that's not that bad